Hi, and welcome back to Just Another Stitch. For those who don't know me, my name is Connie, and today we're going to be working on part three of the Easter Gnome scarf. And this scarf is done in corner to corner. And if this is your first time tuning in for this tutorial, never fear. All you got to do is go in the description box of this video and you will find the playlist for all the tutorials for this scarf. And like I said, this is the third and the final tutorial. In the last video, we worked on this side of the scarf making the gnome. And this is how that came out. So today, we're going to be working on the other side of the scarf. And we're going to be making a baby chick with some Easter eggs for the second side. So let's get started on the other side of the scarf. Okay, for the body of the chick, you're gonna need yellow yarn, also some orange yarn, a five millimeter crochet hook, and a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round. All right, so let's get started on the body. We're gonna start off making a magic ring. Okay, insert your crochet hook. And let's chain one. All right, now I'm gonna take my stitch marker and mark the beginning of the round. So for round one, we're gonna do eight single crochet stitches into the magic ring. So let's get everything a little more better situated. Okay, eight single crochet stitches. One, two, three, and just continue doing your single crochet stitches until you have eight single crochet stitches, and we'll meet back up there. Okay, we have our eight single crochet stitches, so now you want to want to tighten up the ring. Okay, so for round two, we're going to do two single crochet stitches into every stitch. So let me move my stitch marker to the new round and just do two single crochet stitches in each stitch. So there's one and two. Next stitch, we do two single crochet stitches. And you just keep going around two single crochet stitches in every stitch and we'll meet back up after you finish that last stitch. Okay, we have finished round two now and you should have 16 single crochet stitches. Now for round three, and we're gonna repeat this all the way around. You're gonna do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. All right. So that first stitch is two single crochets. One. And two. The next stitch is one single crochet. 
All right, now we just repeat that again. Next stitch, two single crochet stitches. One, and two. Next stitch is one single crochet stitch. And repeat it again. Two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. One, and two. Next stitch is one single crochet. All right, and just keep keep repeating that all the way around. And when you finish round three, you will have 24 stitches and we'll meet back up there. Okay, we have finished round three and you should have your 24 single crochet stitches. Now for round four, we're gonna do two single crochet stitches in the first stitch and then one single crochet stitch into the next two stitches and that is our repeat all right so first stitch is two single crochet stitches one and two next stitch is just one single crochet stitch one next stitch is one single crochet And we repeat that. Next stitch is two single crochet stitches. One. And two. Next stitch is one single crochet. And next stitch is one single crochet. And you just keep repeating that all the way around. It's two single crochet stitches in one stitch. The next stitch is a single crochet stitch. And then the next stitch is a single crochet stitch. And when you finish this round, you will have 32 single crochet stitches and we'll meet back up there. Okay, you should have 32 stitches now. So for round five, we're just gonna single crochet all the way around. So just single crochet, one in each stitch. And when you finish this round, you should again have 32 stitches. So we'll meet back up once you finish this round. Okay, you should have your 32 stitches. And now you want to cut your yellow yarn. Leave a long enough tail to weave in your ends. I already cut mine. All right, so now we want to slip stitch into that first stitch. And we're going to fasten off so you pull it all, all the way through. Ta-da! All right. And tighten it so. You probably notice I put these stitch markers here. This is to mark where the legs are going to go. All right. So you want to put your first stitch marker into your 14th stitch. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. All right, then you want to skip four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Put your stitch marker, your second stitch marker into the next stitch. So you have four stitches between your stitch markers. Then this should be the 14th stitch from the end. So one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's how this should be looking. Okay, so for the leg, we're going to use a 4 millimeter crochet hook. And let's stick our hook where that stitch marker is. And we can remove our stitch marker. Now I'm going to grab my orange yarn, leave a long enough tail to weave in the end, and just pull that through. All right, now you want to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and I'm going to give that end piece a tug because it's loose right now until you weave in this end all right so we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and we're going to slip stitch then we're going to go into the next chain and slip stitch. Now you want to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next chain. All right. Now you want to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. slip stitch into the next stitch. All right. So you see where this very first leg is? The stitch that we slip stitch into right here. Let me get my darning needle. This is where we're going to slip stitch next. All right, and now we're going to slip stitch back into that original chain six. We have three more chains left going this way, and we're going to slip stitch into each one of those chains. One. two, and three. You also, let's pull this again. You also want to slip stitch into that original stitch where you attach the yarn. And we're going to slip stitch there. Now let's cut our yarn and fasten off. Now leave a long enough tail to weave in your yarn for the leg. All right. And we have our first leg done. And now we're going to do this again for the second leg. Okay. So for the second leg, Let's insert our four millimeter crochet hook into that stitch where the stitch marker is. We can take our stitch marker out, grab your orange yarn, and again, leave a long enough tail to weave in the end. And just pull it through. Now we're gonna do our chain 
six, one, two, three, four, oops, five, and six. All right, you want to slip stitch into that second chain from the hook. And then the next chain slip stitch into. Okay, I have the slip C's. All right, I'm slip stitching. <laughs> All right, now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch into that second chain from the hook. And slip stitch into the next chain. Then chain three. One. Two. And three slip stitch into the next I'm sorry the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the next chain all right and then we're gonna go back and slip stitch into that that chain where the first leg connects to Here's that first leg right here, and there's that chain. And now we're slip stitching back into that original chain. So let's slip stitch into those three stitches, I mean those three chains. So there's two, and here's the final one. All right, let's give it a tug again. And we're gonna slip stitch into that same stitch where you attach the, the orange yarn. Okay? And we are going to fasten off. Let's cut our orange yarn. Leave a long enough tail so we can sew it on. And just pull it through to fasten off. And we have finished our chicken legs. Okay, so we have our chicken legs attached now. So we're going to turn over to the back of our work and we're going to go ahead and weave in some of these extra ends right now. And remember, you want to hold on to this end here, the longer one. We're not going to we're not going to weave that one in for the yellow but the short one we're going to weave in. Okay, and just cut that yarn. And then for the orange yarn, your little shorter strands, we're going to weave those in. And once you have all your ends weaved in, we'll meet back up and we're going to start working on the head of the chicken. Okay, for the head of the chicken, you're going to need yellow yarn, your 5 millimeter crochet hook, 
and a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round. So let's make our magic ring. Insert your crochet hook. Chain one. All right. And let's start doing our single crochet stitches. We're doing six single crochet stitches into the magic ring. One. And two. And just keep doing your single crochet stitches until you have six. And we'll meet back up there. Okay, you should have your six single crochet stitches. So let's close up that ring. All right. Now grab your stitch marker. And for, uh, for round two, we're going to be doing two single crochet stitches into each stitch. All right, let's see. And I don't know why I was trying to do a double crochet stitch there. I was yarning over. <laughs> Oops. All right. Single crochet two. All right. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. All right. And then the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet stitches. One. And two. And you just keep going all the way around. Do two single crochet stitches in each stitch. You're going to end the round with 12 single crochet stitches. And we'll meet back up there. Okay, you should now have... 12 single crochet stitches. So let's move our stitch marker. For round three, we're going to do two single crochet stitches in the first stitch, and then the second stitch will be one single crochet stitch. And we do that all the way around. You just keep repeating that. So the first stitch, here's the first single crochet stitch. Here's a second single crochet stitch in that same stitch. The next stitch is just one single crochet stitch. All right, next stitch is two single crochet stitches in the same stitch. One and two. Next stitch is just one single crochet stitch. All right, and just keep repeating that. Two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, one single crochet into the next. And when you finish round three, you should have 18 stitches. And we'll meet back up there. Okay, we have finished round three. So let's move our stitch marker. All right. And for round four, we're going to do two single crochet stitches into that first stitch. So one, two. All right. The next stitch will just be one single crochet stitch. And then the next stitch is one single crochet stitch. And you just keep repeating that all the way around. So next stitch would be two. One. Two. And two. All right, next stitch is just one. All right, and then the next stitch is just one. And just keep repeating that. Two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, 
then one in the next stitch, and then one in the next stitch. And when you finish round four, you will have 24 single crochet stitches. And we'll meet back up there. Okay, we just finished round four, and you should have 24 single crochet stitches. So you want to slip stitch into that first stitch of the previous round. All right, and we're going to be fastening off. Now we want to leave a really good size tail because we got to attach the head to the body and then we also have to sew everything on. All right. I prefer to have more than I need than not enough. All right. So let's just fasten it off. Just continue pulling it through. And tighten it. All right. Now we want to weave in that center tail. So let's thread our darning needle. Okay, and let's cut that yarn. Now we're going to attach the head to the body. I'm going to go ahead and weave in that, that yellow piece on the body. So weave that in, and then we'll get started. Okay, you want to position the head about so. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it down. Okay, you see how I have it? Now, we're going to take that end piece and thread our darning needle. All right, let me cut that little piece off because it didn't feed right, quite right. All right. All right. So let's start sewing it down. Okay, I need to move my pen over. You just attach the head like what I'm doing. Okay, and here's the last, that's the last stitch here. 
All right. And we're just going to leave it like this because we need this end piece to sew the chicken onto the scarf. So now we're going to work on crocheting the wings for the chicken. Okay, for the chicken wings, you want to go down two stitches from the head. And that's where I place my stitch marker and then two stitches down from the head on the other side. That way they should be even. And for the wings, you'll need your yellow yarn again and a five millimeter crochet hook. All right, so let's stick our crochet hook where I put that second, that um, stitch marker. All right, I'm taking it out. Let's attach our yellow yarn. Pull it through. And we are going to chain one. All right, and just kind of tighten it. All right, so we're going to single crochet in five, in, into five stitches. And we're going to start off in that, in that stitch that you attach the yarn to. That will be your first single crochet. So that's the first stitch. Then go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. Two. Next stitch, single crochet. Three. Next stitch, single crochet. That's your fourth one. And then single crochet into the next stitch. All right. So you should have five single crochet stitches that you just did. Now you want to turn your work and chain one. Okay. We're going to single crochet two together. So you have two loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch. Now you have three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. The next stitch we're going to single crochet into. All right. And then the last two stitches, we're going to single crochet two together. So you go in the base, yarn over, pull through the base two loops left. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, go through the base. Three loops left. Yarn over, go through all three. Now turn your work and chain one. And we're going to single crochet two stitches together into the first two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, go through the base, two loops left, go through the second stitch, yarn over, pull through the base, three, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Next stitch is just a single crochet. All right, let's turn our work and chain one. All right, now we're going to single crochet those two stitches together. So you have two loops, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the base, three loops, yarn over, go through all three. All right, so now you want to cut your yellow yarn Leave a long enough tail to weave in your end. 
and just fasten off. All right, so we finished the first wing. And let's go ahead and weave in the ends for the first wing. And then we'll meet back up and do the second wing together. Okay, so we have the first wing completed. Now I'm going to turn my work over onto the wrong side. All right. And again, we're using a five millimeter hook to attach our yarn. And I'm going to insert my yarn where that stitch marker is. We can take that out now. All right. Let me grab my yellow yarn again. Leave a long enough tail to weave in your end. And we're going to attach the yarn. All right. Let's chain one. And we're going to, again, single crochet into that same stitch that we attach the yarn in. And then the next four stitches. So you'll have five single crochet stitches total. That's two, three, four, and five. All right, let's turn our work. And let's get all these end pieces out our way. All right, let's chain one. All right, now we're going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the base, two loops left, go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through the base, three loops, yarn over, go through all three loops. The next stitch is a single crochet stitch. And then the next two stitches, we're going to work another single crochet two together. Go through the first stitch, yarn over, go through the base, two loops. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, go through the base, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, let's turn our work. And we're going to chain one. All right, so we're going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. Two loops, three loops, yarn over, go through all three. Now that last stitch, we're just going to do a single crochet stitch. We're going to turn our work and chain one. Now we're going to do a single, I'm sorry, we're going to single crochet two together into those two stitches. All right, two loops, go into the next stitch, you got your three loops now, yarn over, pull through all three. Now we're going to leave a long enough tail to weave in our ends. And we're going to fasten off. All right. And then we're going to weave in our end pieces for that second wing. And we'll meet back after that. Okay, you should have all your ends weaved in, except the ends to attach to the score. So now we're going to work on the eyes for the chicken. 
So you're going to need white yarn and blue yarn, a darker blue yarn for the eyes, okay? And we're going to use our four millimeter crochet hook, and you will also need a stitch marker to mark the beginning of your round. All right. So again, we're going to be doing the magic ring. And we're using a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, let's chain one. And we're going to do four single crochet stitches into the ring. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we have our four single crochet stitches, so let's close up that ring. And now we are going to slip stitch in each one of those stitches. So let me mark my round. All right, and we're just going to slip stitch into each stitch. So there's one. There's a second one. Here's the third one, and where's that fourth one? All right, here's the fourth one. All right, so now you want to remove your stitch marker, and we're going to slip stitch in that first stitch of the previous row. All right. And let's cut our yarn. Leave a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Well, not to weave in your ends, sorry. To sew to the scarf. All right. And just finish pulling it through. And we have the first eye done. And now you want to make a second eye just like this. Okay, you have your two white parts of your eye. Now you want to take that center end piece and weave in these ends on both of the eyes. But remember, you're not weaving in the long end, the one that you're going to be attaching to the scarf with. So let's get these ends weaved in and then we'll start the middle part of the eye okay you're gonna need your first eye your blue yarn and your darning needle so let's thread our darning needle and we want to go in and just kind of in broader the inside of the eye. Mm. About like that. That should do. All right. So I... I'm going to cut my end piece because I never cut it to begin with. 
and we are going to weave in the ends here. And just weave in these two end pieces and do the same exact thing for your second eye. And we'll meet back up after you have both eyes completed. Okay, we have both eyes finished. And now I'm going to place the eyes on the chicken. And kind of pin it in place. Okay. And your eyes do not need to be perfect because you kind of want them to be a little crooked. All right. And we're just going to sew the eyes on now. Okay, let's thread our darning needle. And just sew your eye on. And like I said, they do not have to be perfect because you kind of want that crooked eye effect. Okay, and we're just going to weave in our ends. And we're going to do the same thing with the other eye, just sew it on and weave in the end and we will meet back up there. Okay, we now have the eye sewn on. So now we're gonna work on crocheting the nose. So you're gonna need your four millimeter crochet hook and your orange yarn. So let's get started. Okay. With your orange yarn, we're going to form a slip knot. Then we're going to insert our four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so let's chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to single crochet into that second chain from the hook. And then we're gonna single crochet into that next chain. Okay, so now we're gonna cut our orange yarn and you wanna leave a long enough tail to sew on to the chicken. All right, and let's fasten off and pull on our pieces. All right, let's weave in 
your initial end piece. And then we're going to sew the beak onto the chicken. Our beak is finished. Okay, we have the beak all finished now. So now we're gonna sew it onto the chicken. So I'm threading my darning needle. And you can try to pin it on, but it's so little that it's hard to get that pin in. So I'm just gonna kinda do like so and use my finger to hold it down. All right, and let's just weave in the ends or the end. All right, let's cut this yarn. All right. So now we have our beak on. Let me just kind of like so. Now I want to attach some hair to the chicken. So you want to take a few strands of yarn, maybe about like this. I prefer to have more length than I need than not enough. All right. Let's do four strands. All right, I'm going to use my darning needle to attach it. And you want to find about that center stitch. And we are going to attach it. And I do have it way too long, but that's okay. And we're going to tie a knot to hold it in place. And I'm going to trim it to about here. I'd rather, and I'll probably still have too much yarn, 
but that will be okay. All right, let's get the other pieces on. Because you can always trim at the end. All right. Tie this one on. And we're just going to keep doing that with the other two pieces. And once you have all your yarn pieces attached to that stitch, we're going to meet back up and I'll show you where we go from there with the hair. Okay, we have all the yarn pieces tied on. And what I'm going to do is just kind of pull the strands apart to give it that messy hair look. And we're just gonna kinda do like this with all the, the yarn. There it goes. You see, I'm doing it to each piece. And just keep doing this with all the hair. And we will meet back up once you finish doing this part. But like I said, you just, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you want that messy hair look. Okay, I have finished with all the yarn pieces, making it look all frayed. And now I'm going to give the hair a trimming. And it doesn't have to be straight because... You really want that messy hair look here. I think I'm going to keep mine about like that. If you want your shorter, you can go shorter. It's kind of up to you how you want the hair to exactly look. All right, now we're going to work on making a bow for the hair. Okay. We are now going to make the bow for the hair. You need your pink yarn and your four millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to make a magic ring. Insert your hook. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. I'm going to close mine up a little more. All right. Now we're going to do two double crochet stitches into the magic ring. All right, there's one and now a, a, a second double crochet stitch. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch into that magic ring. Okay. And now we're going to chain three again. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna do two double crochet stitches into the magic ring. One.
and two. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch back into that magic ring. All right, so I'm going to close off the ring more like that. We're going to cut our pink yarn. And you want enough that you can wrap it around the center of your bow and also so we can attach it to the chicken. All right, so we're just going to fasten off. All right, and let's kind of pull that center some more. All right, now we're going to take the long piece and wrap it around the center. And you can wrap it as many times as you want. I'm going to stop there, I think. All right, then I'm going to take the end piece. And we're going to tie a knot, a knot in the back. And I'm going to pull tight. And then I'm going to tie another knot just to make sure it's nice and secure. All right. And I'm going to cut that short end piece. And now we're going to attach the bow to the chicken. Okay, I'm going to place my bow about like that. We're going to thread our darning needle. Now, you can pin it down if you want, but there's really not a lot of room to play. So, I'm just going to kind of do like this. this way about like that to start attaching it Okay, and it looks like it's pretty well attached. So let's just weave in that end. And it looks like the hair got quite a little, but we'll fix that. All right, and let's cut our pink yarn. All right. And the chicken is finished. Isn't it, isn't it adorable? Now we're going to work on the Easter eggs. Okay, you're going to grab your pink yarn and your 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to need a stitch marker. All right, we're going to make a magic ring. Insert your crochet hook. And we are going to chain two one and two. All right, place your stitch marker. And now we're going to do nine double crochet stitches into the magic ring. Let me close it up some. 
make it easier to work into. All right, so nine double crochet stitches. One, two, and we're gonna meet back up once you have your nine double crochet stitches. Okay, we have our nine double crochet stitches, so let's close up our ring. All right. Let's move our stitch marker. All right. We're going to slip stitch to join. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. Next stitch will be a single crochet stitch. Next stitch is a half double crochet stitch. Next stitch is a double crochet stitch. All right, and for the next stitch, we're gonna do three treble crochet stitches into that same stitch. All right, that's your first one. Now let's go in that same stitch again, treble crochet. That's two. Now a third time in that same stitch. All right, so we have our three treble crochet stitches. In the next stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet stitch. The next stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet stitch. The next stitch, we are going to do a single crochet. And then we're gonna slip stitch to join. All right, and we're gonna cut our end and, it, and you want to leave a long enough tail to sew your egg onto your score. And we are going to fasten off. And we have our first egg done. And you want to weave in your little end here. And you're going to make one more egg just like what we just did, but we're going to do it in purple yarn. So you will be making another egg, but just in a different color. All right, let's get this weaved in. All right, make your purple egg like what we just did, and we will meet back up once you have your other egg made. Okay, we have our two Easter eggs made. 
Now we're going to start sewing everything onto the scarf. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start sewing everything on. So we are going to pin down the chicken. And this is about how you want everything positioned on the score. All right, and let's pin down the egg. and the last egg. All right, so we are gonna start on the chicken first. Let's thread our needle. Okay, and we're just going to start sewing the chicken on. And don't do like I was about to do and get my yarn cord <laughs> together. Okay. Okay, and just keep sewing, and we'll meet back up right, bef right before you get to the first leg here. Okay, I have approached my leg, and my yarn's on the back side, the yellow. So I'm just going to take my needle off of that, grab the orange yarn for this leg here. And let's thread it. Okay. And we are just going to start sewing the leg. And just try to get your leg as straight as possible. Okay, and just keep sewing the leg. And we'll meet back up once you finish this leg. Okay, once you have sewn on the first leg, you want to weave in your end on the back, and then we'll start sewing on the second leg. I just try to keep it as straight as possible. And when you get done with this leg, weave in the end on the back. Okay, we have the second leg sewn on, and we have weaved in the end for the both of the orange 
pieces. So now we're going to thread our darning needle with the yellow yarn again. And we're basically going to pick up where we left off. All right, let's get the purple out of the way. <laughs> All right, we were right here. So I'm just going, you see how I'm working those bottom stitches of the chicken between the legs? So I'm just going to continue sewing. And I'm going to go right under the leg here. Right, and keep going around the chicken and we're gonna meet back up right before you get to the hair area and I'll just kind of walk you through that section okay I am right at the bow area so I'm just gonna put my yarn through about like that You're just basically going around the yellow section. And then just keep going around until you meet up where you stored it. And then you weave in the end and we'll meet back up there. Okay, we have the chicken completely sewn on now. And now we want to sew on the pink Easter egg. And I'm just moving mine over a smudge. All right, so let's thread our darning needle. All right, and just start sewing it on. At this point, you should you should know how to sew the pieces on one. So I'll just get I'm just getting y'all stored it. All right, and just continue sewing it, and we'll meet back up once you have this egg sewn on, and you've weaved in the end. Okay, we have the pink egg sewn on now. Now we're gonna work on the purple egg here. So let's thread our needle and just start sewing this one on. And we will meet back up once you have this one sewn on and you weave in that purple end. Okay, we have finished our scarf and this is how the duck side came out. And let's hold up both sides. That's how the end pieces look for the scarf. And I hope all of y'all enjoyed this tutorial. And I would love to see your finished scarf. So please send me an email at justanotherstitch2020 at gmail.com with pictures of your finished scarves. And let me know in the comments how you like this tutorial. Um, yeah. So I hope y'all are all having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light. And always remember to be the best sparkly you that you can be and be cool and be kind. Bye, y'all.